Well, hi there. My name is Sandy Alnock. I'm an artist and paper crafter, and I bring you a pull tab slider card made for the Hero Arts Blog Hop celebrating their summer catalog. And they sent me a bunch of stamps, and these two are the ones I'm going to use for these cards. And they're generally, I think of them as planner stamps because they'd be great to use with your planner when you're getting your summer vacation plans together. But I'm going to use them on a card. And I've got this piece of watercolor paper that I drew two lines on. This one is at one and three quarters, the other one is at one and a half. And the one and three quarters one, I'm gonna turn into a slit, and the slit has to be just kind of wide enough for a brad to fit through. And I'm not going all the way down the edge of the card, because I want the pull tab slider to stop. I don't want it to pull all the way out and be removed from the card. I'm gonna, on a separate piece of paper, I'm gonna create a panel that's gonna be popped on top, and that line is one and a half inches, so it matches the one and a half inches on the other piece. The entire width of this, or the entire outside piece, by the way, is five and a quarter by four and a quarter, because I want my tab to stick out a little bit on one side, and you'll see how that plays out. I'm gonna use some just sticky notes to do some quick masking, and then fill it in with a Sharpie, which will work with my watercolors because that won't run and fill in some of the areas that I didn't get stamped really well because I can't stamp worth a darn if you haven't heard that from me before then you're learning that now I just struggle with stamping but I'm going to add just a bunch of items on either side of this panel because I'm creating something to hide some things that are behind it so I'm just gonna stamp a bunch of things on the left and the right and we're gonna cut away the portion at the top to pop onto the card but I want to create a little section here with that's just going to be the, the sign posts for all of my little signs that I'm going to have and draw them in there with my Sharpie pen and do the same thing on the other side to add those, those little lines in there, straighten up anything that's a little bit crooked, that sort of thing. And then I'm going to add a line across all of it because that's going to be my baseline across the card. I'm going to cut against that one, but I'm also going to have it continue on the left and right hand side. And you could either make the line completely across some of the stamps that you use. You could drop them down below, like I'm dropping the, the gas tank down a little bit lower. And then some of them will be sort of merging into this. So there's like a little place for some of them to merge into the, the bottom and others are just going to hide behind that line. Next, I'm going to do my fussy cutting and I'm gonna cut off that whole portion that has that X on it. And I'm gonna whack off different portions of it and then go in with my detail scissors after I get this big chunk off because it's just gonna make it easier for my scissors to get in there and do the fussy cutting. So once I've got that big section out of there, it's much easier to zoom in here with my little scissors. Now you can leave a little white outline around this or there's some areas like you can um, take a pen and fill them in. So in between where some of these signs are, I'll add that and as well if I don't get my fussy cutting done all the way to the very, very edge, I can go in with a pen and repair some of that. Once that panel is finished, you can start to see how it's going to appear on the card. That little track is above it. And then there's the one and a half inch line so I'm just going to mark for myself a few places that I want to make sure I get some background in there because I'm going to stamp along this and I want these things to hide behind that panel that's in the front. So I'm going to take the mountains from one of the sets and then I wanted to have some trees as well. But before I put the trees in, I thought, wait a minute, I got to put a speed limit sign in here. So I stamped that and made a little mask for it. You could also just put a little sticky note over it, but I wanted to do the trees a couple times just to make sure I have enough trees going behind everything. And then even down at the bottom there, so I can have some at the, that bottom section. You're not gonna see a whole lot of it when the vehicle is going past, but now you can start to see how the image comes together and when the little van is gonna travel along there, it'll be really cute. So I'm gonna take my Daniel Smith watercolors and just do some quick painting. The background, I wanted the, the mountains to look like they were kind of melting into trees as they went down. So I did some blues at the top and some greens down at the bottom. I'm using my Daniel Smith watercolors, but you could use any watercolors. You could actually do this on regular cardstock and color them with Copics or with colored pencils, whatever kind of thing you'd like to do. 
I would just recommend using some sturdy cardstock because on any interactive card, you just want to make sure that you have enough heft to the pieces of it that they don't fall apart, especially if you're going to send them to small children. So on the front panel, I'm going to do some watercoloring. I put some green to match the trees in the, the background portion so that it, it looks like you're looking through the signage at the trees back there. And I'm just kind of throwing some extra colors on some of the other parts, mixing around, deciding which colors I wanted to do. And then I stamped on a piece of scratch watercolor paper, the van. So I decided that this little van was going to be the one that's going to pull along here. There's I think four different vehicles and you'll see more of them at the end because I made some other cards with these two that I'll show you but there's a bunch of different vehicles so you can pick which one looks like your family vacation car and this is this would also be a fun card for somebody going on an exciting road trip just to wish them well it would be kind of fun or something to send to somebody as a souvenir of you having gone on a trip with them it would be a fun memento and then there's also the option of doing something like this in your scrapbook page. All right, let's look at the construction of the pull tab slider. And this is my own invention. I didn't look this up, so I don't have anybody to blame for how hard this is. So the panel that's going to go on the inside, that's going to move, that one is three and a half by five because I wanted to give it, as you saw, enough room around the back side that I have room for adhesive. And then I poked a hole in it and I... Um, wanted to make this go through both um, the front piece all the way through that tabbed piece and have two little brads sticking through it. And I'm gonna stick my car to it. So you can see I've got that, that little lip around the whole edge. And that's where I'm gonna put my Be Creative tape. This is, I think, quarter inch tape, but whatever size you have left on your card then use tape that will fit along there. You need really strong adhesive and this stuff, once it grabs, it's not going to let go. And then I have another panel for the back side that is the same size as this. And that panel is just gonna stick to all of that around the edges. So now we've got the base construction and you can see the slider does move and you don't necessarily have to have that other panel that I've created, except I wanted to hide some of the things and make it look like this is going through, through the scenery. I'm using two layers of dimensional adhesive on that front panel because it needs to pop up in front of the van. And I attached the van to the brads using some more of the Be Creative tape. Didn't catch that on film, sorry. But now you can see when I pull that tab out, that has a little piece of twine on it, the van moves along that little track, which is kind of cute. And then I stamped one of the little cars on the tab uh, panel that pulls out, which I thought was just a really fun little crazy card. Now here's another one that I made, and this one involves some different stamps. It has more of a Southwest theme to it, and it's got not only a van, but it's pulling another little trailer along with it. So I've got some uh, some suitcases packed, stacked up on one side and a teepee on the other, teepee tent. So you can create all different kinds of scenes using this same kind of an idea. And there are some card type sentiments in there. Now just for fun, I tried this on a vertical card with the Seattle set as well. And around this, right around where I'm pointing is where the Be Creative tape is. And I have this little tiny panel that's holding onto the boat, the little ferry boat. So there's a lot of different ways you can use a lot of their travel sets. I'll have them all listed so you can see if your city is in their collection. I'll have them all listed on my blog. So here are some other videos if you're interested. The left is more Daniel Smith watercolor. The other two are interactive cards. Be sure to go to the blog hop and check out what everybody's creating. And you know Hero always has some goodies to give away. So you want to enter to have a chance to win some fun things. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.